Hi there, this is module 64, and this is potential about potential bias when it comes to looking at intelligence. Really, other things too, but... Okay, so let's talk about something called stereotype threat. This is just the idea that one may be evaluated based on a negative stereotype. So if this group of people is are commonly considered this, it may affect the way that they are evaluated. That's the stereotype threat. Got to be careful about that. All right, now let's talk about something um, difference, actually. So let's talk about um, nature versus nurture. Okay, so in this sense, um, this is something that is listed in Meyer's textbook, and it is a useful thing to know for th this course and in general, but we more readily accept nurture in this case, not an actual genetic difference as some people may have thought in the past. So as far as race goes for intelligence, there may be detected differences in intelligence based on race, but we have determined that this is due to differing opportunities that repeat through generations unfortunately so it, take the idea of slavery so once um slavery ended in the united states that didn't just automatically fix things it was difficult for people to get back on track because if you have parents that aren't able to help you as much as other um, parents may have been able to. Sorry about that. Almost I knocked out the uh, my mic. Uh, then that's going to cause a problem. So some people have wrongfully stated that it is a genetic thing. It is not. At the at the basis, we all have the same potential. As far as race goes. For gender, though, we, there are some genetic differences, actually. Um, and, of course, most many of them are um, better for females. But there are some that are also due to environmental things, like cultural norms. So it's co more common for boys to play video games. Video games often uh, help. They're not... In a lot of cases, they're not good. But one thing that video games are good for is they help with spatial ability skills. So, therefore, com more commonly, uh, males are better with spatial ability skills, supposedly. Um, but, anyways, that's the that's the point of this slide. Just to say that we have to be careful about certain. Uh, biases that are out there, we have to remember um, that we have to consider uh, not just either nature or nurture. We kind of have to think about them both, but in some cases, only one may apply. Okay, so why do males score higher on spatial abilities? Okay, well, I talked about that. Um, males may play video games which helps with spatial abilities that's from the nurture perspective from the evolutionary or nature perspective some may say that males needed these skills to catch prey that's just what's what some people would say that's what darwin would say well there you go thank you for watching and good luck on your test